an amazing story of a student who found his passion in the performing arts despite a language barrier, hearing loss, and other obstacles. We recognize Kylan Running Hawk as the NFHS 2021 Heart of the Arts National Recipient. Kylan's family is Hunk Papa Lakota from the Standing Rock Nation in North and South Dakota and the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska. He now resides in the small town of Morris, Minnesota and is making a big impact on those around him at Morris Area High School. So growing up on the reservation, we were, I went to elementary school there for years, for our younger years. And throughout my years there, I was learning Lakota and also English at the same time. Because the elders wanted to try to reintroduce the language as they were stripped away from it due to the Indian boarding schools they had in the 19th and the 20th centuries. English was my second language and Lakota was the predominant one. So it took me a while to also learn English as well. Kylan grew up on a Standing Rock Sioux um, Reservation in North Dakota. And he grew up uh, very, um, with a lot of reverence for his grandparents who um, taught him right alongside um, learning English as he's growing up. Uh, so he learned Lakota and along with English as he grew up. My Lakota name is Ta Oyate Kawita, or, or also said in a different way as Wikcha Kawitaya, which means he gathers the people or nation. Kylan is very proud of his heritage. He enjoys donning traditional Lakota costumes and performing at powwows, parades, and other events. Sometimes he walks to and from school in the winter as a way to remember and honor his ancestors. In eighth grade, I lost my grandmother, Patty Decora. She was one of the biggest, important people in my life. So I've learned everything from my grandparents everything about life and traditions. He's had so many boundaries, so many obstacles in life, so many challenges, and none of them have stopped him from loving what he does. Uh, to me, true art is bravery, and Kylan is an incredibly brave kid. Well, growing up with having no hearing in my left ear, I also taught myself how to read lips. So most of the time in school, whenever a teacher come by me, I would tend to always look at their eyes at some points, but I would mostly look at their lips as they were talking. He never complains, never complains. And if anybody has a right to complain, he's had so many obstacles that he's had to deal with in his life and he doesn't sit and complain about it. He just says, well, I'm not sure how to do this. I'm gonna find out how and then I'll get there. He's just, if you had to pick a favorite student to have or that kind of student, it's Kylan. So I had written this modern version of The Princess and the Pea and was looking for, you know, students who want to be a part of it. And Kylan was very enthusiastic. And so he came out to be in the show. And, you know, he from that first show on, he just became like a leader in that program. He was really a, dedicated to being in the theater and dedicated to making sure that the younger kids knew what they were doing. And so he was, it, it just was a, seemed like it was a spark inside of him to be a performer. My father, he is a Ho-Chunk in Winnebago, and um, he sings and my other brothers dance as well. So most of my singing, my big boltering singing or talking, I get from my father. The style I danced is called the grass dance, which mimics the way the old buffalo grass used to flow across the prairie, and to also stomp out evil spirits whenever making a new place to camp out. Just been a, a, a absolute wonderful thing to watch him evolve as a and a young adult and a young man and so sure of himself when he gets up in front of people, if it's singing or if it's speaking, it's just great. I mean, I think Kylan likes to tell a story. Um, I think it's something that he does even in his everyday life. And so I think given the opportunity to portray a different role and to, and to tell a story to people, I think that was that's a big deal to him. So when he had the opportunity to play a role on stage, I mean, he took that to the next level. He wanted to be a storyteller. Um, he wanted that story to be told and he wanted to be the one to tell it. I just knew Kylan was in so many activities such as basketball, wrestling, 
golf, track. Um, he tries everything. And then, of course, in the fine arts, absolutely speech and music. On our reservation in high school, you, the only way to get into sports is if you actually try it out and make the team. But here in our school, I was able to pl I was able to play in every almost every sport except three of them. And the other girls, I don't play with the girls as well. There's girl sports I don't didn't join because so I can't do it. But with me, I like to think big and try everything out. I've done a lot of things over the years. I've took up beading and I've also took up knitting. So I've sometimes spent a month just knitting away and scarves I've made. Kylan is a is a gentle giant, warm heart, caring, um, participates in everything. He just he's like a sponge. He soaks everything in. He his work ethic every single day before Christmas, before the end of the year, he is always giving, giving, giving. He can just demand stage presence. He can just um, use his facial expressions and uh, and just that that boldness that he has to just like drag those people in. So even though it's something you might not always see from him all day long, when he has the opportunity on stage to do it, he does it and he really commands uh, that that presence. When I, given, when I given the script, I would try to figure out what the person is first feeling as, a, as I did in Curtains, was the musical I did last year. And I turned, everyone thought I was gonna be a nice person, but <laughs> nope, I turned into a very mean and hatred person. I tend to um, just push everything I have into being an emotion that I'm normally not. So I was able to project a very big loud yell or anything just to get my appearance look tough and very different from what I normally look like. Kylan is always both humble and fearless. He was the first to sign up for our brand new mock trial team and he would never miss an, a chance to audition for anything. One, another great thing about him is that he doesn't care what kind of role he gets. He wants to contribute and just be part of things. My commitment is always the fullest. I never back down. I actually did a, I was doing Legally Blonde my ninth grade year. And I was, I also did track and field, but on the first day of practice, I fractured my entire right ankle. And all while I was healing for over two months, but also still learning the lines. And when the time came to perform Legally Blonde, I actually performed in my wheelchair and in crutches as well. As that, that's how committed I am to doing theater. I will not let anything back, back me down. I think everybody looks and respects him so much for what he has done. Um, they look forward to having him as their singer. We can't sing this, my tenors will say, because Kylan's gone today. Uh, I see bright things for his future. Um, he told me that he wants to go back to the reservation and bring the theater to the reservation, um, and I see him doing that. He has a goal to help others, and that's his goal because he wants to be a teacher, and he's gonna be a great teacher. There's not that many people who are willing to work at a tribal school, but since I've lived in a tribal school and went through it, I want to go back and actually show them how different I can make it, either through our language and our songs we've learned. Kylan just is so respectful of all of his teachers and of the staff. Um, that's the number one thing that when I think of Kylan, I, I think of the word respect. I want more than anything for Kylan to take his love of his own culture and the power of language and the power of art and I, I want him to combine them all and take them uh, take them to his students one day and imbue them with empowerment the same empowerment that he's found through the arts himself the way i want to be remembered is just a guy a native guy who's very kind and sweet but also very quiet but also who has a very big chante or heart in our lakota language to fulfill out whatever he needs to do through any task that's challenging to anyone that's also that's really easy to do. I'm never a person who's very who's who backs down from anything. I'll continue charging through my life. Kylan Running Hawk will attend the University of Minnesota Morris in the fall. Kylan Running Hawk, the NFHS 2021 Heart of the Arts National Recipient.